This is an all four posterior hip capsule stretch. Now I'm going to show the left side here. You're going to start in an all fours position. So hands are below shoulders, knees are below hips. Now you can go a little bit wider with your hips. Play around with the positioning and see what gives you the best stretch. You're going to start by, if I'm doing the left side, I'm going to bring that foot in slightly towards the other foot. And I'm going to cross my right leg behind my left knee. So I'm kind of up against that calf. From here, I'm going to go down onto my elbows and I'm really heavy here on this left side. Now, if I'm doing this correct, I can feel quite a bit of a stretch on that back pocket of the left side. So like I said, I'm staying super heavy here and I'm simply breathing. Exhale all the air out through the mouth. Inhale softly through the nose. Now if this is too intense, you can walk your hands a little bit further forward. That can also help here as well. Now, like I said, we want to make sure that we stay heavy on that left side or whichever side we're stretching. In order to make this a little bit more intense, you can do a bit of a reach where I stagger my arms, reaching that right arm forward, left arm back a little bit, and that'll make the stretch even more intense here. Same thing, breathing here. Now, a common mistake here is that one, people have too much weight on the opposite leg, or two, they'll be too far back and they might get some pinching in the hip. Now, if you're feeling this in the hip or anywhere else, you're not doing it correct. The only place that you should be feeling it is in the back of that hip. From the front position, our head is staying neutral between our shoulders. It's not kind of hiked towards that left side. And you can see that I'm still staying heavy. And I've also got a slight side bend here. So basically the left side of my core is a little bit more flex and that will naturally happen. And that's allowing us to get a little bit more in that hip. So like I said, make sure that that head and spine stays nice and neutral, simply breathing here in this position. A progression of this drill to make it a little bit more intense is to have about a two inch foam pad or a slight elevation underneath the hip or the knee that you're working. So in this case, I've got that same setup, move that foot in, cross that leg over, come down onto the forearms and the elbows. And from here, I can feel quite a bit more of an intense stretch on that back left hip pocket. Now, again, if we feel any pinching at the front of the hip, this is too intense and we're going to want to move back to the more regressed version here. Same thing applies though, breathing in through the nose softly, full exhale, all the air out through the mouth. 